gave out two performance bonuses, which went to Irene Obama and <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I think this was a great by far tonight. I think all the athletes performed amazingly, and I think it was uh, a huge success for us with our debut on the fight pass. So at this point in time, we'll definitely turn it over and I am a great Jedi in MMA, and I will always strive to become greater. There's always room for improvement. Uh, 
they are not my teammates. We just live in Finland, <laughs> all the girls. <laughs> I can speak like, like, <laughs> like English. <laughs> uh, yo, okay, my husband comes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll translate. Uh, it's very important that there's a lot of female fighters in Finland that support each other and they train a lot each other, with each other. When fifth round started, I knew that I have to submit her because I knew that I will lose if I can stop the fight before full time. And I got side position. Side position is my favorite position, and I take token. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It feels amazing. Especially uh, because fight was very hard for me. Stephanie was very tough opponent and I I don't find a words what I'm feeling right now. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> swinging and try to clip me with that right and I mean that's what she tried to do um, to be honest I thought training at Alpha Male that she would probably be looking to wrestle with me um, if she found out that I hit harder than she thought I did um, and, and that didn't happen I was actually kind of surprised that I took her down I was like how did I get her to the ground I couldn't actually remember what happened <laughs> Yes. No, 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 no. We've been working a lot on my movement and, and like you said, the footwork. So yeah, that was definitely the plan. And I don't know, there was a point where I hit her with the right and I can see that it dazed her. And then we went for a few more minutes on the feet. And I think the big one came with the, with the jab and, and the liver kick. And then I kind of felt that, you know, she was, she was closer to me in mine, for sure. Yeah, you were making that point that It was great. Um, I felt so much stronger. Um, you know, somebody pointed out on Twitter that, <laughs> that I said, you know what, let's fight closer to our natural weight. And then I said, by the way, I'm going to fight down another weight class again eventually. But I'd like to clarify, what I'm trying to do fighting at 155 is I'm trying to get my body back to where I would naturally walk around. But I've been finding with all the, all the cuts to 45 that my metabolism is just going out of control and my weight keeps going up and up and up and every time I try to hit that 45, it gets harder. So I'm trying to get that metabolism under control, get my weight back down to where I'm walking at, you know, very close to 155 so that, you know, I can fight right at my natural weight or cut a little bit to get to 45. Uh, I was within 10 pounds when I got here.
ustedes para que tengan nada que hacer. Sí, Now, uh, you know what, I, I think um, just getting the opportunity, uh, feeling like I had the chance to get out there and, and actually fight for a big promotion with somebody that wants me to fight for them. So, you know, just getting picked up for a victim and getting a chance to fight for my family, my friends, and, and stuff like that. And, you know, everybody knows I, I trained in Japan when I went to Texas. So, you know, I, I think that um, for this camp, I, I trained my butt off. I trained, I trained really hard and I cross-trained like crazy. and. I worked on my boxing, although I didn't show it. Um, I definitely worked on my boxing, and I worked on my ground, and uh, I came out to, to win. You know, I know all you guys didn't want to see me win, but came came. <laughs> <laughs> Our next uh, two events will not be in Kansas City. 
being a shark, that's for sure, yeah. Uh, you know, I, I don't know, I just I just want to come out and win and, and uh, try to kick some butt until I get old and can't do it anymore. And, um, I don't know what I'm going next or what I'm doing, but I definitely plan on staying with the day to, and, you know, I've heard a lot of rumors about this fight and um, the winner of us going to UFC and, you know, I don't think I would do that anyway. I think I would stay and try to take this belt and, uh, and stick it out. You know, I think this is a, a good one for me and I think that um, they took a chance on me and let me come in and, and fight for them. And, you know, I'm, I'm down to stay around and, and prove myself. Just follow up, uh, how do you feel with the fighter, you know, five years ago and the fighter now? How does this change? Well, I think I'm a badass fan too. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I, uh, I don't know. I think uh, I think I kind of lamed out a little bit. I kind of got got off my rocker. I don't know. I had too much soda to drink or something. But then uh, Shannon gave me this uh, fight with Sarah, and you know, and I, I told myself I'm gonna get back in and do what I did before, and I'm gonna try to knock people out, and I'm gonna try to finish people. And you know, I um, I almost peed my pants before I came out to this one because that girl was scary. But um, I don't know. I just I think I, I fight better when I'm scared because I'm like shit. I got 15 minutes. To do something, and I don't want it to go past one round. <laughs> so. Yeah. Cities, we'll, we'll work on that other country thing. <laughs> we gotta get out of Kansas first, <laughs> right? <laughs> step one, then step two. But yeah, I mean, it's always our dream to, to you know, go everywhere at some point in time. So we just gotta keep on keeping on, and you know, as we grow, we'll keep making those moves forward. It was very surreal for me. Uh, I was nervous up until getting into the cage, and then suddenly I wasn't nervous anymore. A good part of that was probably because I know her. Um, this is a, a great chance for me to relax and show my new striking skills. And um, it was fun. I mean, we were kind of putting on a show, but we were fighting. It was kind of bizarre, but it was a lot of fun. You know, um, our goal is to promote women's MMA and athletes. So, you know, we want the best of the best, so we got to go out there and find them, and, you know, they're everywhere. So, yeah, it's important because I think it helps grow the sport, you know, on all levels. And, you know, we have some great partnerships outside of the country, and yeah, outside of America. So, yeah, it's good. motivation is trying to get to that next level each time and trying to improve yourself and um, you know having like little little goals um, set for yourself every day when you get into the gym and like if I have a goal for myself and something that I can improve for, for myself and I'm focused more on myself than what everybody else is doing I think that's what improved me the most. Um, it, I, when I 
I won the belt from Jessica. It was very surreal, <coughs> and uh, it was it was a, a huge obstacle that I had um, been able to overcome. <coughs> and then um, I and then I felt like I had to overcome another obstacle in learning how to be patient and learning how to um, uh, transform my life, you know, into an athlete on a daily basis and instead of just an athlete that has a fight in front of them. And um, being able to do that allowed me to kind of get in the zone um, when I was training and uh, improve on myself. And it was a goal of mine to, to, to stop Tamada because she hadn't had a um, stoppage on her record. And uh, so I'm, I'm kind of happy that I was able to do that tonight. Oh, I okay. Oh, wow. uh, one more for that. I don't usually talk trash and, and do anything like that, but man, if you insult me while I'm shopping for my kids' Christmas presents and call me old, you know, <laughs> like, that's not cool. So, I mean, she opened up a whole can of worms I don't think she was really expecting from me. Um, but like I said, that's not my normal personality, so, you know, I guess if somebody, somebody else insults me, we'll see what happens, but, <laughs> you know, uh, nothing. Nothing I'm thinking of right now, so. Let's see who, who Shannon signed in a couple of weeks here, right? <laughs> Thank you everybody for all your support for staying late at night.